Sir Jura crosses the Red Waste with Daenerys and her Kalasa. After Danny's mare, Drogo's first gift to her, dies of exhaustion, she wonders where should they go and what can she do against starvation. Jorah reminds her that returning either to Lazar or to the Dothraki Sea would mean their death and the loss of her dragons at the hands of either the Lazarine or another Kalasa. He also reminds her that she must remain strong for her people's sake. She tells him that he is her strength and then sends her blood riders to scout ahead on their three remaining horses. The Kalasa sit amidst the heat as they wait for the scouts. Jura notices a horse approaching and rouses Daenerys. The mount is riderless and covered in bright red war paint. Jura notices blood dripping from a saddlebag and opens it to find the head of Ricaro and his severed braid inside. Jura warns Daenerys not to look, but she insists. She asks Jura who killed Ricaro and he speculates it might have been another Kalasa, possibly Karl Polo or Karl Jacko, who are opposed to a woman leading a Kalasa. Daenerys vows that they will like it less when she is done with them. Cavaro returns to the camp. Daenerys notices that he has changed mounts and he reveals that he was given a new horse by the Thirteen, the leaders of Carth. He reports that on hearing of her dragons, the Thirteen have invited Daenerys to the city. Daenerys asks Jorah what he knows of Carth and he tells her that the desert around it is known as the Garden of Bones because it is littered with the remains of travelers who have been refused entry to the city. Jorah and the rest of the Kalasa reach Carth. The Kalasa is met by the Thirteen with distrust and a denied entry, to which Daenerys reacts in anger, despite Jorah warning her to be careful. Nevertheless, Zaro Zoan Daxos, one of the Thirteen, intervenes on behalf of Daenerys and her people, who are admitted into the city. Zaro holds a reception for Daenerys and her people in the gardens of his home. Jorah prevents the Dothraki from stealing from their host. Daenerys and Jorah are perturbed by the tricks of the warlock Pyat Pri, who invites Daenerys to visit the House of the Undying. The masked woman Quaith delivers an enigmatic warning to Jorah about Daenerys's need for protection from those who lust after her dragons. Zara offers to fund Daenerys's invasion of Westeros in exchange for her hand in marriage. Later, she seeks Jorah's advice about the proposal and he cautions against accepting financial aid. He suggests that she will be able to win her throne should she reach Westeros with just a single ship. He accidentally reveals his depth of feeling for her and while she accepts his counsel she looks away and does not reciprocate. While Jorah is away seeking a ship, Daenerys appeals to members of the Thirteen for aid. She is refused and returns to Zaro's home to find that Eri and several of her guards have been murdered and the dragon stolen. Jorah rushes back to her when he hears the news and she asks him to help find them after telling her to trust him, which Daenerys stresses he is becoming repetitive at. He speaks with Quaith, who warns him that Daenerys is with the thief she seeks. He finds her appealing to the Thirteen for the return of her dragons, but they all deny knowledge of their whereabouts. Then Pyat Pri admits to taking them to the House of the Undying, as part of a deal struck with Zaro, who has proclaimed himself King of Karth. Suddenly, each servant of the Thirteen becomes a copy of Pri that steps forward and cuts the throat of each of the Thirteen, except Pri and Zaro. Jura tries to kill Pri while escaping with Daenerys, but only succeeds in dispelling one of his many magical copies, stabbing them through the back. Jura, Daenerys, and Kavaro escape, wary of Pri's request for Daenerys to meet him in the House of the Undying. Jura finds Daenerys' refuge in a disused square, advising her to leave her dragons and flee Karth as he has recently booked passage to Astapor, but Daenerys insists on reclaiming her dragons, saying that they are her children. She reminds Jorah that she has magic of her own, and he agrees to help her despite knowing they will be walking into a trap. Whilst searching for an entrance into the House of the Undying, Daenerys is magically transported inside, leaving a distraught Jorah calling for her outside. Daenerys overcomes the warlock's spells and reunites with her dragons. Once they are together she commands them to breathe flames at the sorcerer, killing him and allowing them to escape. Following her success, Daenerys returns to her remaining Kalasa. They return to Zaro's home to confront him for his treachery and find him in bed with Doria. They go to his vault, which proves to be empty, and lock Zaro and Doria inside to die. Daenerys asks Jorah about the value of the Zaro's gold and jewels, to which Jorah replies that they are real, maybe even real enough to buy a ship. In response, Jorah orders the members of the Kalasa to take all the gold and jewels of Zaro's manse. 